Hello, hello grade 12s. Welcome back to Academic Coordinates. This is our first example in chemical equilibrium. Okay, guys, without any further ado, let's just dive right into it. 1.2 mole of NH3, NH3 is ammonia, is introduced into a sealed reaction vessel of 2.0 dm cubed. So dm cubed right here is the volume, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes here you might see liters, you know. So when you see liters, let not your heart skip a bit because liters and um, dm cubed is actually the same magnitude. You know what I'm saying? So let me just put it on the side note that one liter is equals to one dm cubed. So just uh, remember that. Okay, cool. So NH3 decomposes when, uh, when temperature is raised into a certain level. Okay, cool. So basically what happens is that our ammonia will decompose and actually form what? Nitrogen and hydrogen. So let me just write this here. So it's NH3, right? Um, so it's going to decompose to form nitrogen right here plus um, hydrogen. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So let's just go again. 1.2 mole of ammonia is introduced into a third reaction vessel of this volume. NH3 decomposes when temperature is increased to a certain level. At equilibrium, we find that NH3 right now, ammonia, has got this um, concentration. You know what I'm saying? And also, let me just put it to you guys that this can be 0 0.20 a mole. Um, per liter as well this is exactly the same you know what i'm saying and it can also be 0 0.20 you can see something like this there it's exactly the same okay cool so let us continue so find the equilibrium concentrations of n2 and um, h2 okay cool we are gonna do our favorite thing which is um we're gonna use the rice method as I've said to you guys, that rice has got nothing to do with bismati rice or testic rice, you know. So, okay, cool. So, R, I, C, E. So, our R is going to be our reaction. You know what I'm saying? So, we draw our table right here. Okay, those are not the straightest line you've seen in your life, but hey. Okay, cool. So our reaction, the, the important thing about our reaction, guys, this one is very important. Our reaction has to be balanced. You know what I'm saying? So um, let us just balance our reaction here. One nitrogen here, two nitrogens here. So we're going to put a two right here. Okay, so it's two nitrogens. We are done. What about the hydrogen? So we've got two times three. It's six hydrogens. So here we've got two. So we're going to put a three right here to balance our equation. Okay, cool. So our re our reaction is gonna be two N H three, right? Then now we're gonna go to our products. Our products are what? Uh, N two, right? Let me just put a one right there. It's N two and three H two. Okay, guys. Okay, cool. Um, so. Our initial quantities here, just take note that you are given um, this quantity of ammonia in moles, right? So, we're going to put it right here. 1.2 mole of, amo of, of ammonia. Cool, cool. So, our product, initially, we don't have any product. We want to form the product. Ammonia is still going to decompose in order for it to form this. Okay, cool. So, basically, um, our... our magnitude of this is going to be a zero right here right and as the reaction progresses there is a change right in the amount of our of our um, species right here you know so here we're gonna our our the quantity for nh3 our reactants will decrease so that's why we have got a negative but for our product it's gonna increase so we are adding you know what i'm saying so the coefficient here of um um NH3, we're going to put it right here, then multiplied by X. Then this one we are adding, the coefficient of, of, of N2, we're going to put it right here, multiplied by X. The coefficient of um, um, H2, right, we're going to put it right here. 
multiplied by x okay x is just um, a symbol that we used you know you can use any other thing you know um, but we are just used to x you know what I'm saying and also we are told that um, this is our concentration at equilibrium okay there are basically a number of ways to do this question um, without even putting the x's but let me just go on with this one um, okay cool so basically our equilibrium quantities right here our moles will be 1.2 minus 2x you see so we added these two together then for this one it's going to be 0 plus 1x so it's going to be an x you see so this one is going to be a 0 plus 3x so it's going to be 3x you know what i'm saying okay cool so um this are our quantities or amounts in moles you know so let's just find this amount um the number of moles at equilibrium now for NH3 and NH3, you know, our NH3 is actually 0 uh, 0.2 moles uh, per dm cubed. You can just put it per dm cubed, right? So we want to find the moles of, of NH3, you know. And so we are given the concentration right here. So basically, we're going to multiply this concentration by the volume, right? So our volume is 2.0 dm cubed, right? And the dm cubed, they are going to cancel. Let me just put it to you guys. This is the formula that we are using. C is equals to N over V, where C is concentration. N is the number of moles and V is the is the volume right so in order for us to get n n is equals to cv right okay cool perfect so now we're going to find our number of moles right here okay so basically we're going to come to our calculator 0 0.2 right multiplied by 2.0 is 0 0.4 you know so we have got um the number of moles at equilibrium of NH3 is equals to 0 0.40 moles, right? At equilibrium now, you know? So, can I put it to you guys that this value, this 0 0.4, is supposed to be where? It's supposed to be here. So now what we can do is that we can solve for X here, right? And then we're going to get the equilibrium moles of NH3, equilibrium moles of N2, equilibrium moles of hydrogen. You know what I'm saying? So let's just solve for that. And let not your heart fail, guys. This is, um, um you, you, you are going to follow, you know. So 1.2 minus 2x, right, this one is supposed to be this value. It's equal to 0 0.40 moles. Right, so now we just solve for x so that we can find this concentration and this concentration. Right, so uh, sorry, we can find these moles right here, you know. So, what is x now, you know? Okay, cool. So, basically, we can say a negative zero, sorry, negative 2x is equals to 0 0.40 minus 1.2. And then our x is equal to 0 0.40 minus 1.2 divided by negative 2. So we can just calculate this right here. Um, 0 0.4. Um, okay, 0 0.4. Um, okay, 0 0.4. Sorry, guys. 0 0.4 minus 1.2 divided by negative 2. Okay, so our x here is 0 0.4, you know, so our x is 0 0.4 moles, right? Um, okay, this is our x, but this x will be the, the number of moles of um, N2. But what about hydrogen? Let, let me just write it neatly for you here. So the number of moles, right, of um, N2. N H three at equilibrium is equals to zero point four zero moles, right? The number of moles of um, N two right here is equals to zero point four 
um, 0 moles, right? Okay, because of this x equals to this one right here. Okay, cool, guys. And then lastly, the number of moles of hydrogen is equal to 3 times x. So 3 times what is x? x is 0 0.4. 0 0.4, right there, moles, right? So what is this? So 3 times um, 0 0.4 is actually 1.2 so this is 1.2 moles right so these are the equilibrium moles of our things right here and then now what about our um, concentration so the concentration of nh3 is equals to what n over v n over v the number of moles so we're already actually given the concentration so it's 0 0.2 zero moles um the m cubed you can also write it like this right then the concentration of um nitrogen is equal to the number of moles number of moles is um um what's the number of moles it's 0 0.4 0 0.4 zero moles right divide by the volume 2.0 the m cubed right so what what is this equals this equals to 0 0.2 uh, more uh, tm cubed right okay cool then lastly the concentration of um, um hydrogen right here is going to be number of moles is 1.2 more right divide by um 2.0 tm cubed this is equals to what Okay, so 1.2 divided by 2 is 0 0.6, right? So this is 0 0.6 moles per dm, the negative 3 right there. Okay, so this is our concentration of NH3 at equilibrium, concentration of N2 at equilibrium, concentration of H2 at equilibrium. And then finally now, they want us to find Kc. So, what in the world is Kc? So, um, the Kc is the concentration of, of our product divided by the concentration of our reactant. Reactant, right? Okay, cool. And so, we know that our equation is like 2NH3. Then this is the thing right here. And then it's N2 plus, um, plus 3H2. This is in grams. This is, sorry, this is in gas. This is gas right here. Okay, cool. So basically, as I've said to you guys, that um, if it's gas right here or it's aqueous, then we include it. You know, but if it's pure liquids or solids, then it's not actually included in the case expression. Okay, cool. So basically, um, what, what are our products? Our product is N2 and H2. So we're going to put N2. Um, N2 will be raised to the power of 1, right? Then the second one is H2. H2 will be raised to the power of 3 divided by um, our reactant, which is NH3. Then NH3 will be raised to the power of 2 because of these balancing coefficients right here. Okay, cool, cool guys. We are literally done now. So... Um, it's actually N, N2 is N2 is 0 0.2 multiplied by uh, H2. H2 is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. But now cubed, right? Divide by our our, react, our reactant is 0 0.2 name squared. Then we're going to find our Kc, you know? So let's just do this real quick. 0 0.2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 0 0.6, right, to the power of 3, and then divide by 0 0.2 um, squared, you know. So we get 1.08 right here. This is our case, you guys. Um, you can also write it as 1.1, you know, and it does not have... Um, units you know what i'm saying okay cool guys thank you so much for watching i just want to summarize this a bit you know so basically 
um, these are the initial quantities. You guys are usually given moles. So these are the initial quantities. For our products, we get this is a zero right here. And then as the reaction is progressing, there is a change, right, in our quantities. So there's going to be a negative on the reactant, then a positive on the products because of we're actually um, getting to the products right here. And then the equilibrium quantities now, at equilibrium, um, these are the moles. At, at, at equilibrium, we're going to add these two things right here. So we actually added this and this and got this, added this and this and got this, added this and this and got this right here. And then there is another E that is usually placed here for concentration. You know what I'm saying? So basically, since we're having X's here, we just had to solve for X and manipulate everything, you know. But I trust you guys um, understood. Just um, watch the video a bit slower if you were a bit confused. But thank you guys for watching. On the second video, I'll be doing um, a... a a very much engaging video of how to find equilibrium concentrations and then we're also gonna bring into play the um the quadratic formula and all those things so it's gonna be exciting do stay blessed guys enjoy the rest of your day